Next we will discuss theorem 10.2 which is known as closed graph theorem. Okay. So the statement of this theorem is let x and y be Banach spaces and f is from x to y be a closed linear map then f is continuous. Okay. So in order to show f is continuous it is enough to prove that f is bounded on some neighborhood of zero okay this is by condition one of 6.2 okay so for each positive integer n let vn equal to set of all x belongs to x such that norm f of x less than or equal to n okay now we prove that some vn contains a neighborhood of 0 in x okay now x is equal to union n varies from 1 to infinity vn which is equal to union n varies from 1 to infinity vn bar where vn bar denotes the closure of the set vn okay now taking complement on both sides we have complement of x equal to union n varies from 1 to infinity vn bar whole complement which is equal to intersection n varies from 1 to infinity vn bar complement so this is equal to phi now since phi is not dense so intersection n varies from 1 to infinity vn bar complement is not dense in x okay now since x is Banach space Okay, so by Bayer's theorem 3.4, one of the open sets is Vn bar complement is not dense in X. Okay, so let Vp bar complement is not dense in X. Then for some X not belongs to X and delta greater than zero such that U X not delta is a subset of vp bar okay now if x belongs to u0 delta so this implies norm x less than delta okay so this implies norm of x plus x naught minus x naught which is less than delta okay so this implies x plus x naught belongs to u x naught delta okay which is subset of vp bar okay now since x plus x naught belongs to vp bar and x naught belongs to vp bar okay there exist sequences vn and wn in vp such that vn converges to x plus x naught and wn converges to x naught okay then vn minus wn okay which converges to x plus x naught minus x naught which is equal to x that means vn minus wn converges to x okay now norm f of vn minus f of wn which is less than or equal to norm f of vn plus norm f of wn which is less than or equal to p plus p which is equal to 2p okay since uh, vn and wn belongs to vp okay so this implies norm f of vn minus wn which is less than or equal to 2p okay so this implies vn minus wn belongs to v2p okay so this implies x is equal to limit n tend into infinity we have v, uh, vn minus wn converges to x so x is equal to limit n tend into infinity vn minus wn which belongs to v2p bar okay so therefore x belongs to v2p bar okay now in particular for every x belongs to u0 delta there is some x1 belongs to v2p such that norm x minus x1 which is less than delta by 2 okay now since x is equal to x minus x1 plus x1 and x1 belongs to v2p and x minus x1 belongs to 1 by 2 
u0 delta okay therefore u0 delta is a subset of v2p plus 1 by 2 into u0 delta okay now consider x belongs to u0 delta so let u equal to u0 delta and v equal to v2p also k equal to 1 by 2 in 10.1 we see that there is a sequence vn in v2p such that x minus v1 plus 1 by 2 v2 plus etc plus 1 by 2 raised to n minus 1 into vn which belongs to 1 by 2 raised to n into u0 delta for each n varies from 1 2 3 etc okay now let wn equal to v1 plus 1 by 2 v2 plus etc plus 1 by 2 raised to n minus 1 into vn for each n varies from 1 2 3 etc okay now since norm x minus wn which is less than or equal to delta by 2 raised to n which converges to 0 as n tends to infinity okay so this implies wn converges to x in x okay also for all n greater than m we have norm of f of wn minus f of wm which is equal to norm of f of summation j varies from m plus 1 to n vj divided by 2 raised to j minus 1 okay which is less than or equal to summation j varies from m plus 1 to n norm f of vj divided by 2 power j minus 1 okay since uh, we have the sequence vn is a subset of v2p so we have which is less than or equal to 2p into summation j varies from m plus 1 to n 1 divided by 2 power j minus 1 okay so this is equal to 2p into we expand this summation and we have this and taking 1 by 2 power m outside we have 2p divided by 2m into 1 plus 1 by 2 plus etc plus 1 by 2 power n minus m plus 1 okay and uh, simplifying this we have this is the uh, which is less than or equal to 2p by 2 power m minus 1 which is equal to 4 pi by 2 power m so this shows that the sequence f of wn is a cauchy sequence in y okay now as y is a banach space this sequence f of wn converges in y okay and since f is closed f of wn converges to f of x in y okay if we let m equal to 0 and w not equal to 0 then norm f of wn minus f of wm which is less than 4 p divided by 2 power m okay so we let m equal to 0 and w not equal to 0 then we have uh, this implies norm f of wn which is less than or equal to 4p for all n greater than or equal to 1 and therefore norm f of x which is equal to limit n tangent to infinity norm f of wn okay so which is less than or equal to limit n tangent to infinity summation j varies from 1 to n norm f of vj divided by 2 power j minus 1 okay so this is equal to summation j varies from 1 to infinity norm f of vj divided by 2 power j minus 1 which is less than or equal to 4p and therefore x belongs to v4p okay now since x belongs to u0 delta we see that u0 delta is a subset of v4p okay so we have f is bounded on the neighborhood u0 delta of 0 so this implies that f is continuous this is by theorem 6.2 okay now before going to the next theorem we will consider a definition and related results okay so the, the definition of projection we consider the definition of projection a linear map p from a linear space x to itself is called projection if p square equal to p okay a linear map p 
from a linear space x to itself is called a projection if p square equal to p so first we have uh, if p is a projection then so is i minus p okay if p is a projection then i minus p is also projection so we have the definition of projection here p square equal to p so we want to show that i minus p whole square equal to i minus p okay so we have i minus p whole square equal to expanding this we have i square minus 2p plus p square which is equal to i square minus 2p here p is a projection so p square equal to p so this is equal to i minus p next result r of p equal to z of i minus p okay here p is a linear map and r of p is the range space and z of i minus p is the zero space okay so uh, we want to show r of p equal to z of i minus p okay so we take x belongs to r of p then there exists y belongs to x such that p of y equal to x okay so we have i minus p of x which is equal to i minus p x is equal to p of y so i minus p of p of y okay so that is equal to i of p of y minus p square of y okay here we have p is a projection so this is p of y minus p of y which is equal to zero okay so this means x belongs to z of i minus p okay so r of p is a subset of z of i minus p now if we take x belongs to z of i minus p okay then i minus p of x which is equal to zero okay so this implies i of x minus p of x is equal to zero okay so this implies i of x is equal to p of x okay so this implies x is equal to p of x so this means x belongs to r of p and therefore we have r of p equal to z of i minus p okay now next result z of p equal to r of i minus p okay so first we take x from z of p so this means b of x is equal to zero so that is implies i of x minus p of x is equal to i of x okay that implies i minus p of x is equal to x okay so this implies x belongs to r of i minus p okay now we take x belongs to r of i minus p so this implies there exists some y belongs to x such that i minus p of y equal to x okay so this implies y minus p of y equal to x this implies p of y minus p of y which is equal to p of x this is implies p of y minus p of y equal to p of x so p of x is equal to zero so this implies x belongs to z of p okay so we have taken x belongs to r of i minus p we have x belongs to z of p and therefore z of p equal to r of i minus p okay so we have the definition of projection and also this results okay so it follows that x is equal to r of p plus z of p and r of p in resolution z of p equal to singleton zero for every projection p defined on x okay now conversely if y and z are subspaces of x such that x is equal to y plus z and y intersection z equal to singleton zero then for every x belongs to x there are unique y belongs to y and z belongs to z such that x is equal to y plus z okay so that the linear map given by p of x is equal to y is a projection okay it is called the projection onto y along z okay 
Danke.